Thank you so much, everyone, and good evening. It's such a pleasure to be here with you. Dick and I are so incredibly grateful to each and every one of you for taking the time out of your insanely busy schedules and visiting with all of us in support of cancer research this evening. It truly warms our heart and means the world to us. But let's think a little bit about why we're really here. We all love the entertainment. We love to have a fun, wonderful evening in Chicago. We love to enjoy ourselves, see our friends, enjoy all of that warmth. But we really know we're here for a greater reason. It's really about the patients we serve and this evil disease called cancer. Let me put it into perspective for you. As Melissa was beginning to give you a few statistics, 1.7 million, M, million people will be diagnosed with cancer in the United States alone and just over 600,000 will die. And that's not acceptable. Not acceptable. Those numbers are not acceptable and we have a lot of work to do and the time to do it is now and there are opportunities. We are literally waging war against this disease. Let me quote something that really inspired me for this evening from P.T. Barnum. And others actually have repeated this many times. Whatever you do, do it with all your might. Work at it, if necessary, early and late, in season and out of season, not leaving a stone unturned and never deferring for a single hour that which can be done just as well now. Yes, now. Now is the time to make a difference. Now is the time to create a cure. Do you agree? I agree and we all agree. Now is the time to change the statistics in our favor. That's why we're here now. We all know, sitting here this evening, that life is truly a mystery. Time is a mystery. The genesis of this disease is a complex, diverse, web-like interaction between environmental exposures, genomic alterations, and susceptibilities all converging somewhat mysteriously to create a perfect storm of disease. In truth, this is another way to think about cancer. It's a normal, and I did say normal, biological response to the directions that your body has been receiving from stressors, dietary habits, and exposures, for example, to persistent organic pollutants. The tumor thereupon becomes a natural defense, and the tumor-like processes are really a direction from your body's immune system to these attacks. We're simply following the signals that your body has been given. It's a completely different way to think about it. Therefore, if we think of it this way, the reason these novel therapies that we're working with at Gateway, such as genomic targeted therapies, immunotherapies, and dietary interventions, are likely successful because they literally redirect the tumor process to reverse course. There are standards of care in many successful cases treated every year, but it's never enough. It's just not enough yet to reach the critical permanent elimination of the disease globally. Please make no mistake, enormous progress, thanks to support from all of you and many others around the world, have made enormous impact. But it really takes all of us, donors, patients, health professionals, to find the critical, creative, translational new treatment that gets us just one step closer to resolution, treatment, and cure. That brings me to why Gateway is such a unique organization. We're different. We think differently. We're unlike any other organization in that we believe, again, as P.T. Barman taught us, no one ever made a difference by being like everyone else. Right. Why would we be like everyone else? Why? Why bother? I'm reminded this evening that we're the only cancer research organization that exclusively funds phase one and phase two trials. And I know most of you are sitting out there saying, what the heck are phase one and phase two trials? We've been saying this all evening. Think of it this way. 
cancer researchers and well-meaning wonderful physicians devise a breathtaking avant-garde idea to, to beat the disease. They think of a hypothesis. They're thinking with a patient in mind, a patient sitting right in front of them right now. And it's something that deserves further exploration. But far too often, they can't secure the funding that they need to turn that brilliant idea into new treatments. In the world of research, this is something I don't like to, to fully state because it sounds sad tonight, but when those brilliant ideas are lost in research, we call those the valley of death. The valley of death means that special place where potentially translational new therapies simply die for lack of funding. And it often doesn't take a large volume of funding. That's where Gateway makes the difference. That's where your dollars go. Translational, avant-garde, integrative-oriented therapies, immunotherapies, genomic therapies, and the list goes on. Combination, never thought of before, drug therapies. We step into literally that gap and provide the resources needed to make life-saving clinical trials an immediate reality. Right, honey? That was your idea. That was this gentleman's idea. I'm only stating what you created many years ago. You've heard about the 99 cents. I won't continue to belabor that point. Dick will explain more on the 99 cents of every dollar. It's true. It is what we do. But one thing that we often don't talk about is that we are stewards of your donor dollars that we know you are entrusting with us. We closely monitor the work of the grantees, ensuring that their efforts are on track at designated intervals and that they're achieving their objectives. Finally, very interestingly, we're unique in that we fund all cancer types across a wide expansive view of therapeutic interventions, new drug discovery, novel use of existing drugs, and advanced medicine approaches never thought possible prior to the advent of genomic sequencing. For these and other reasons, and this much is clear, Gateway for Cancer Research thinks differently on behalf of the patients we serve. And we won't stop until our vision is an absolute reality. There is no other option. Am I right, honey? You're absolutely right. You're absolutely right. Thank you. I love it when he says that. Let's hear that again. Am I absolutely right? Oh, you're absolutely Thank right. You. Anyway, I just had a moment there. What was the question? <laughs> We are so honored a little later this evening after Dick says a few words as well to hear from a young lady named Peyton Bailey. Peyton, right here. Show us. Give us, give us a hand. This lady, this beautiful young woman, is alive today because of a Gateway-funded trial. And we're going to hear from her. She's thriving. She has been the beneficiary of your amazing generosity, living proof, she came to visit us this evening. She's having a ball. She's looking forward to dancing. I know that. I am too. <laughs> right, right? <laughs> Please remember, every time you lift your pedals, think of the patients. Think of the lives you've changed through your generosity. Think of all the bold and passionate researchers who will stop at nothing to bring new life-saving treatments to those who are facing cancer. And please think of that special someone in your life, the loved one who has had to face this disease, and the loved one who you hope never will.